We're going to work quite gently around the wrist because it is obviously a joint. We're not going to put too much pressure on the joint. But what we're looking for is, is there a full rotation in that wrist? Is the wrist moving as it should do? Now, as you can see, Margaret says she's got a very good movement in the wrist. Not everybody will have this. So we're going to work around the wrist. You can f you're feeling for the gap in between the bones, just applying gentle pressure and moving the hand up and down. There's no big movements here, it's not deep work. It is just pressure all the way around and at the side. Sometimes it gets a little bit clicky around the thumb joint, don't worry about that. When we come to the bottom, we don't want to be pressing into here because of the blood supply. So I'm going to use a flat finger just to do the same thing, apply a more general pressure. You can do that a number of times. If you feel a restriction, just work in that area. Just press very moderate pressure and move the wrist around. By moving the hand and the wrist around, you'll release that tension. You don't need to be really digging in there to move it. The diff the the mixture of you applying the pressure and then moving the joint will actually give you that release that you're looking for.